Swansea have announced Graham Potter as their new manager, with the former Ostas and Sposs agreeing a three-year contract to replace Carlos Carvalhal following their Premier League relegation. The Welsh club announced the appointment on Monday afternoon after a severance package was agreed between them and Swedish side Ostersunds, having initially agreed a deal last week in order to discuss personal terms. Two of Potter's existing staff will join him at Swansea in the form of Billy Reid and Kyle McCauley, who have both agreed terms on similar length contracts. In a last-ditch attempt to stop Arsenal sinking any further down the league, Puma have decided to add red armbands to the 2018-19 edition. This shirt looks as though a Yokohama tire has run over it, leaving strips of red and white. Now this is a nice kit, a throwback to the good old days. It looks like Brazil which is never a bad thing. Another top kit, despite what Christian Benteke and Wilfried Zaha seem to think judging by their facial expressions. Another good kit, Puma are nailing it here, and Zaha's pout is improving. No relegate them immediately. Anything Mo Salah touches turns to gold, or a deep red pepper if you read the marketing launch. Like a child has been asked to design this but was only given two highlighters and a bag of dang fastics. Nike seemed to have given up here, City are set to drop them as a sponsor and judging from this Nike aren't bothered about it. Set to be modeled by Dennis the Menace, this is just Watford's kit from last season but in red. A hark back to the club's first European Cup back in 1968, 50 years later. This really, really, really had better not be just a rumored kit. It's magnificent. In clo, please insert new printer cartridge. Oh, now I do. The third kit is the after photo of the away kit after it's been gunged on a Get Your Own Back style TV show for football kits, hosted by Dave Benson Phillips West Ham have added extra claret this season so any blood spilled on the shirt from fan violence will be less easily detectable not a bad attempt and a refreshing step away from the now usual fluorescent away kits looks a bit lazy, like the Jeep logo is written on duct tape with Typex. If you squint really hard, it's actually a picture of Neymar, Suarez and Messi modeling Barcelona's 2012-13 home kit can't stray too far from the classic, and Nike haven't tried to. Always strange when a club who resist the extra money from a shirt sponsor for so long go straight for Qatar Airways immediately after deciding to change their tradition. 43-year-old Potter arrives in Wales relatively unknown compared to the usual candidates that cut their teeth in the United Kingdom, having learned his managerial trade abroad in Sweden after spending seven years with Ostersunds. In that time, Potter has led the club to three league promotions, and won the 2017 Swedish Cup that secured the club a place in last season's Europa League in which they played Arsenal in the round of 32 that helped bring him to prominence in Britain. How Potter transformed Ostersund and inspired Sweden's North the tie included a 2-1 victory over Arsenal at the Emirates, although the 3-0 loss at home eliminated his side. Despite an upturn in form last season after Carvalhau replaced Paul Clement in December 2017, Swansea were unable to survive the drop and the Portuguese left the club soon after their relegation to the championship was confirmed. Carvalhau left Swansea after his short-term contract expired, Getty. 
Potter's arrival means Swansea have now appointed four new managers in the space of two and a half years, with Carvalhal following the reins of Francesco Guidolin and Bob Bradley. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world.